Welcome to the Tech Race. Can you imagine tennis shoes that allow the player to cover the court quicker? Stop imagining. There are shoes that make this possible. A professional tennis player can hit the ball at speeds faster than 200 kilometers per hour. Competitors have barely a fraction of a second to respond. Glide shoes make it possible for the player to reach the ball and return to their original position at speeds that were previously impossible. Today, it's not a huge surprise, but the tennis game, like anything, is speeding up. Uh, you know, tennis is faster today than it was two years ago or 10 years ago. And what we've seen are many professional players have adapted to that by learning to slide on hard court. If you watch Djokovic, Gael Monfils especially, they've been sliding on hard court almost as easily as they do on clay for several years now. Our footwear engineering team noticed that and wanted to look at how do we take that ability and make that possible for younger players and other competitive players around the world. At the College Park Athletic Club in Chicago, tennis players train with one-of-a-kind shoes that allows them to slide on the hard court. Uh, what you'll find on the glide shoe that's different than any other shoe in the world are two glide plates on the bottom, strategically placed in the shoe made of polyethylene. Uh, and what we found is this, was, this provided the perfect surface to allow the player to glide on hard courts. Um, but then the traction around the shoe, the reinforced rubber, allows them to reposition their weight and quickly move out of that shot. Um, so it's really a, an impressive dynamic of those two materials working together, also taking into account the, uh, the player's position. This shoe is a, is a, a new invention. Um, it basically allows us to move uh, just like we move on the clay, except on the hard court. It enables us to transfer our weight and slide into the shot, which enables us to instantly recover right after and get back to the middle of the court. Uh, which makes us quicker. The opponent sees us, uh, you know, always in the middle of the court. So definitely, it's much har harder to beat us with with the ability to slide into the into into the court. Hop! And yes, come on, come on, come on. Yes. I really like playing with the glass shoes. I feel like it's really cool because I'm faster and I can recover better. And it makes you know it, the strides change a little bit, but once you get used to it, I think it's really cool and it really improves my play. In the past, athletes wrapped their feet in fabric to play sports until they began to manufacture tennis shoes with cork soles in the 18th century. The shoes are always determined by the surface on which the match will be played on. Ever since tennis was included as an Olympic sport in 1984, it has been played on hard courts with the exception of the Olympic Games in Barcelona 1992, where they competed on clay courts, and in London 2012, where they played on the legendary grass courts of Wimbledon. Tennis hard courts are made of cement, plastic, or asphalt. The action is fast-paced because the bounce is low and quick, making gliding on these types of courts a revolutionary step. Most importantly, these shoes allow the player to decide when to slide and when to stop. I think it's very important to know that you don't slide on this if you don't want to. I think it's very important that people understand that these are not ice skates. These are actual tennis shoes that you can regulate how much you want to slide and how much you do not want to slide. This new technology completely changes the way tennis is played on hard courts. The glide shoes make it possible to hit the ball and be ready for the next with 30% quicker recovery. However, it does take time to get used to the shoes. The first day I was, uh, I was very nervous about how much it slides and how much it doesn't. I, I was really afraid to make my steps. Uh, but very quickly I switched my mindset. I, I used to play on the clay and I kind of realized that, hey, this actually works and, and I can regulate how, how big that step needs to be. Uh, and I got it very quickly and our, our students today show that they can do it also very quickly as well. It was a little bit difficult at the beginning to learn it, except once my coach showed me some exercises to do and we worked on it, I think I got it in the first day or so. And then once you keep practicing it, it just becomes easier and easier. The weight is on the inside. Fantastic, Alan. 
Fantastic island. My goal for tennis is to be number one in the world, and I think that the Glad shoes can definitely help me achieve this. And I'm really excited to wear them.